Here's Payam here from Niche. Um, I thought we'll talk about the new right to shared ownership scheme uh, today. For all those people that are in affordable housing, so uh, uh, and are you know tenants at the moment. So this new scheme's been launched, and I've just recently just wrote an article on this. So if you go on our website nicheadvice.co.uk, you will see the article here. It's on the home page. So if you come, I don't know, if you go to nicheadvice.co.uk, there it is. There's the article. So it's called the right to share ownership. It's playing on the right to buy scheme, and it's uh, it's an imitation of right to buy, but it's a bit crap. <laughs> in all honesty and let me tell you why I don't think much of it um, basically let's go through some of the some of the criteria you know you need to be uh, tenants already um, you need to have a short hold tenancy agreement already you need to have been uh, not in arrears um, no sort of court orders no bankruptcies you know uh, you've got to meet the income uh, income profile so you need to be earning a less than an, an amount you also can't be homeowners already and you've probably got to be uh, I would have thought permanent rights to reside in the UK the applicant very similar to the right to buy application so that's the eligibility. The way you make the application is you actually approach your landlord, you will approach them and for them to get, get it started. Now it's a little bit different. You don't automatically, uh, you're not automatically granted this. You know, on a right to buy, you pretty much automatically um, uh, have the right to purchase it at one point um, or you become eligible. Um, this is not the case. You've got to apply for it. Um, now, this is the biggest thing. This is why I think it's a bit of a bit of a useless scheme, right? They don't give you any money. <laughs> now, I know you're gonna you're gonna think, well, that's that's a bit spoiled. But basically, on the original right to buy, that you know, uh, certainly in London, I think it's 112,800 discount you will get from the property purchase. That is huge, right? That is huge. Then you've got this other scheme called the uh, right to acquire scheme right and um, that wasn't as good it was for housing associations and you know they'll give you some sort of a discount on it but it was nowhere near it. it's probably like a tenth of what you would get on the right to buy um, with this the only benefit is you know you could essentially uh, purchase shares in the property so the way the share uh, you know as it says the right to share is basically you can start 10% and start going up okay um, the the main point is really and this is with all shared ownership you should really try to buy the, as big a share as you can because then you can staircase and make your way up but in all honesty I, I've been thinking about it and I've and there is a link to the government website in my article here and this is a lot more comprehensive about the scheme so you know by all means go to my article go to this website and this actually explains it but I've read this and if I was a tenant why would I want to buy that property rather than buy another property what's my incentive yes the incentive is you know if you uh, for example you could go and buy a shared ownership property somewhere else um, but I don't think there's going to be a huge uptake in this just like the right to acquire uptake um, I get a lot of inquiries from housing association people wanting to buy their properties um, but when you do the figures, they'll go, well, actually, the discount, I mean, 10, 15, 16,000 pound discount in the bigger scheme of things is not a huge deal. Because in this market, you could probably go and buy another property for 10K less, you know, and do a deal. So I'm not sure if they've worked. I mean, I think it's, it's PR for the sake of PR. I, I, might be, I might be missing something. It is very soon, and I can't see um, too much information on it. But in all honesty, what's the incentive? I can't see the incentive here. So um, as a mortgage broker, obviously, if someone comes to me and says, do you know what, we want to do this, and we, we, this is our home, this is our family home, and this is an opportunity rather than being a tenant forever, I can you know, start staircasing it, fine. Okay, that makes sense. You know, gets me on the property ladder, and I can work towards that. But because there's going to be affordability uh, checks done, um, you know, I just can't, I can't get my head around it. You know, with the right to buy, with the, this right to buy, the original right to buy, say the property was worth 300 and you were going to go 100k off, 
okay they would do the mortgage for 200k and you would use that 100k as your deposit okay and that's where the incentive is you don't need to save up on your deposit the gov the government's giving you uh, this discount and there's your incentive that's what you're going to do you know you're buying a property which is worth 300 for 200 right with this what they're saying is we'll send out a Rick surveyor there we go will the tenants get a discount no their share will be based on the percentage of the market value by a Rick's valuation okay although this uh, spacing is a bit dodgy but um, basically a Rick's value goes there and says this is what it's worth and you all got to abide by it so there is no discount so anyway let me know what you think, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced about this. I, I just think it's a bit of um, PR. Sorry to say it. Sorry to have smashed your dreams because I do get a lot of inquiries about this stuff. But like I said, if if you disagree with me, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are about this new government scheme. Take care and all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.